We now know one person has died, others still recovering, some of them children, after an incident Sunday at Harborside Place. Officials say they suffered electrical shocks within the fountain area. There are a lot of questions today about how this could have happened. News Channel 5 anchor Shannon Cake live near Harborside with some answers we're beginning to get and an update on another man who tried to help and was hurt. Shannon? Just a really tough day here in Jupiter today, guys. You know, I talked with a lot of people today, police and rescue teams and residents and every single person, whether they knew the victims or not, whether they participated in the rescue effort or not, every single person has been deeply affected by this tragedy. The entire town of Jupiter devastated tonight. It was, uh, yeah. Stephanie Greenberg can barely find the words, but happens to know one of the civilians who sprung into action Sunday afternoon. He was at work at the um, boat at the marina, and he heard a bunch of commotion, yelling. So he ran out and saw a little kid laying in the fountain, and he said he just ran over and tried to help get the the kid first, grab the kid. It happened just after 3.30 near the splash pads in the amphitheater area of Harborside Place. Somebody had gone into the water and started having some distress. Some other people went in to try and try and remove them from the water, and it appears that there may have been an electrocution uh, in the water itself. Today, Jupiter police confirmed five people were transported to local hospitals, three of them children, taken to St. Mary's Medical Center, where tonight, according to police, the children continue recovering. Sadly, one adult was transported to Jupiter Medical Center, this according to Jupiter police, and later pronounced dead. One other adult also transported to the hospital Hospital was later released. It was Stephanie's friend who had tried to save the other adult victim. No, I think they were just trying to pull him out of the water, but the, the current, he could feel the, the shocks in the water. A spokesperson for Harborside said late today the incident didn't happen at the splash pad. She went on to say it happened in the fountains that have no climbing signs all around them and some clearly marked signs that say no swimming. And that's where this happened, end quote. The CEO of Harborside also saying today, this is a tragedy. Our focus is now on the people involved and their families. We ask the community to join us in praying for them. And prayers still certainly needed tonight for those three children. Meanwhile, I uh, spoke with town officials a little more than an hour ago. They say that this is very much still an active investigation. The building department for the town of Jupiter, of course, out here today, they have declared the area around that fountain now as unsafe.